we know of. Yes, that we know of. Earth Day, hooray! Oh, and we begin with cans everywhere, which we, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, 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 you, you want me to participate? Sure. Uh, we recycle them after we drink up all the yummy stuff inside? Exactly. Yay! You're already winning. All right, this book is extra wide, so I'm going to do something unusual. I'm going to focus on one page at a time so that you can really read along and enjoy, and I'll just shift back and forth, so I hope you don't get dizzy. <clears throat> and if you do, maybe you get some Dramamine. Kidding! It's not going to be that dizzy. Don't exaggerate. And we begin. This place is a mess said Ryan. Well, that's why we're cleaning it up, said Carly. Come on, pitch in. The Maple Street School Save the Planet Club was cleaning up Gilroy Park, the site of this year's Earth Day celebration. Look at that, look at that, look at that mess. Oh, it's a mess everywhere, but hey, he looks worried, but well, they look happy. It's clams just raking and picking and bagging and scooping. Yeah, but wow, that is a trashy looking park. Well, they picked up candy wrappers, crumpled newspapers, right there, empty coffee cups, old flyers, lost tennis balls, and lots and lots and lots of aluminum cans. Ooh, did I make you dizzy? <laughs> Sorry. You know, said Ryan, even after we're finished cleaning the park, it won't look all that great. It could really use some flowers at the entrance. Oh, Gilroy Park had a few trees and some grass, but, you know, there's, there's a tree, there's some grass, and that's about it. If we take all these cans to the recycling center, instead of throwing them away, Ryan continued, they'll give us money for each can. Maybe we, maybe we can make enough money to, to, to buy some flowers to plant. Hey, the kid's a worrier, but he's got some ideas up in that noggin, doesn't he? Everybody else seems to be approving. Wait. What does this chirpy bird of knowledge have to say? Chirp, 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 chirp. In 1999, recycling and composting kept about 64 billion tons of trash from ending up in landfills or being burned, which pollutes the air. Oh, why thank you, Tweety Bird. That is a brilliant idea. So we're gonna not only clean up, but recycle. Ryan, he's a thinker. Well, Mrs. Watson, Oh, there she is right over here. Whoa, I'll slowly come back over here. She's a club advisor, and she thought Ryan's idea was fantastic. She said, if you can get 5,000 cans, that should be enough for some really beautiful flowers. Oh, I guess she knew exactly. Oh, I bet we won't find that many, said Luke. Oh, is Luke a little bit of a Debbie Downer? Come on, Luke. Well, it's, it's, oh, wait, the squirrel of knowledge is here. What does the squirrel of knowledge say? Companies pay about a, million, a billion dollars a year to recyclers to buy aluminum. A billion dollars a year? Did you hear that, Luke? Well, you just want a tiny piece of the pie for some flowers. You don't need a billion dollars. Well, the club went ahead and sorted all the cans they found. Ryan, Carly, and Luke filled small bags with 10 cans each. There we go. The bag is clearly marked 10 because I have it nice and zoomed in. You can see it. When they had 10 small bags, they then put them in a big bag that held 100 cans so they would be easier to count. So 10 of these go into one big one of these to make 100. So we're doing 10 times 10 is 100, right? Right? Yes. Yes, that is correct. We are all on the right right path. Well, they ended up with three big bags of 100, five small bags of 10, and nine single cans because you know when you're doing math nothing is ever exactly right on the money well i mean sometimes but not usually well they left the bags near the trash bin so that mrs watson you know the advisor could pick them up that morning and that's a total of 359 i knew we wouldn't get 5000 oh there's luke luke with his downward look well what should we call him lousy luke no he's not lousy is he lumbering, Luke? Well, he's not lumbering. He's just sort of blue and negative. A little pessimistic. Pessimistic Luke. That's what we'll call him. He's, not a, he's more of a glass half full kind of guy. Well, the next morning at school, Mrs. Watson, there she is. Hey, Mrs. Watson. She called Ryan, Carly, and Luke to her desk. 
Bad news, she said. The trash collector at the park didn't realize the cans were for recycling. He took them to the dump with the rest of the trash. I knew it, said, you know, Luke, of course, pessimistic Luke. I knew he'd never do it. Don't give up said Ryan, who's now being very cheerful and, and happy about things. We can still collect cans. We'll have a can drive right here at school. I don't know, said pessimistic Luke doubtfully. Oh, that's a better word, doubting. Doubting Luke. It'll be shorter than pessimistic, which is four syllables. That's a lot of words. So, so doubting Luke said, it'll only work if a lot of people bring in cans. Well, According to Mrs. Watson's uh, chalkboard of knowledge, Americans use more than 80 billion aluminum cans a year. 80 billion. That's a huge number. Americans saved 247 million pounds of paper every day to be reused and recycled. That's 247 million pounds that didn't end up getting burned, which pollutes the air, as the bird of knowledge told us, or going into landfill, which is bad for the earth, too. Earth Day Hooray! So that's the name of the big can drive. Cans recycled so far? Well, we're starting at zero. That's where we all begin big plans and projects. Help us reach our goal of 5,000 and plant flowers in Gilroy Park. And it's, you know, according to these, these uh, papers taped on the wall of knowledge, it takes only 60 days for an aluminum can to be turned in, melted down, and made into a new can. Oh, only two months and it could have a, a new life. In the year 2000, Americans recycled more than 1,500,000 pounds of plastic bottles. Oh, 2000 was a long time ago. You know that that number is far more than that today. The custodian, Mrs. Jones, hey, Mrs. Jones, set up a barrel in the hallway, and Luke made a big sign. Now, Miss, oh, hey, 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 Mrs. Jones. Yeah, just saying, make sure I'm getting her properly in there. There she is. She's working. Lady's working with a big ring of keys. There she goes. Now, Mrs. Watson, hey, Mrs. Watson, welcome back. She helped Ryan print up a flyer announcing the goal, and Carly drew a cartoon. Everybody's pitching in. The next day, a few kids brought in cans. Yes, that's how it begins. After school, Ryan, Carly, and Luke went to check out the barrel. They sorted the cans into bags. They had five small bags of 10, remember how they like to do the small bags of 10, and six single cans. That makes 56. We'll never get anywhere at this rate, said doubting Luke. But hey, Ryan's looking pretty optimistic and so is Carly. So Carly wrote, 56 on the big sign. We need to get more kids to help. Yep, look at them. I think they're looking a little glum. They agree. They don't want all this work to only generate 56 cans a day. They'll never reach their goal. Carly, Luke, and Ryan got permission to visit every class and ask for help with a can drive. Brilliant. Kids will help. Carly worked all night so she would be ready. Look at that. We can do it. Ah, isn't that clever? And let's see, what sign of knowledge is Ryan holding? In the year 2000, Americans recycled 1,900,000,000 pounds of aluminum. Oof, that was, that was in 2000? I, I'm just going to take a crazy guess here. That, that, that number's got to be 3 billion by now. In the first Earth Day celebration, it was on uh, April 22nd, 1970. Oh, 1970, the first Earth Day celebration. That might be a good factoid for a class report or something. And about 20 million people participated. Oh, you know, that's grown since then, too. Hey, the teacher looks pretty pleased with her efforts. And are the kids into it? Yeah, those faces tell me they're into it. After school, Ryan, Carly, and Luke stopped at every park and field and picked up every can they saw. I got one! I got two! Ah, squirrel! Give me that one! And see the this one. Hey, the squirrel's got your, your can. Oh, the squirrel's got her can. And then, arr, 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 arr. oh, so he's into also helping Fido for recycling. You go, Fido. Go, Fido. It's recycling. It's for Earth Day. The next morning, Ryan, Carly, and Luke brought their cans to school. They went by the barrel, the big barrel, tung, 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 to drop them off. Look at all these cans, said Carly. I knew it would work. At recess, they counted the cans. They ended up with six big bags of 100. That's 600. Three small bags of 10. 
that's 630, and five single cans, that's 635, even more than we had at the park, woo! Carly wrote the total on the sign. Mrs. Watson happened to walk by. You're going to need bigger bags, she said. I'll bring some in tomorrow. And we had 56 yesterday. So add it up. The 635 plus the 56 equals. Let's see, 56 plus 11, plus 11, and then you're in, there's a 9, and there's 5, and then you carry the thing. 691! I did all that work, but really it was there the whole time. But you understand, right? It's very easy. The bags of 10 go into, 10 of those go into the 100 bag, so that's 100. It makes it, the organization, in other words, makes it really easy to keep track of the growing numbers. When Ryan, Carly, and Luke decided to check the barrel the next day, it was overflowing. Let's see that barrel. Up. Oh, it's not even full anymore. They've already emptied it out. It was overflowing. We'd better ask Mrs. Jones for some more barrels, said Carly. So they had one bag of what? One thousand, four bags of a hundred, eight bags of ten, and three single cans. That's one thousand four hundred eighty-three cans. Pretty impressive. So we had the bags of a hundred, so which was bags of ten. Ten bags. Uh, 10 bags of 10 go into this bag, which makes 100. So if you take 10 bags of 100 and you put them into this giant bag, it's 1,000. See, it's very easy. Carly wrote the total on the sign and remember to put a comma between the thousands and the hundreds because that just makes it easy to read. When we add to it what we already had, it is now 2,174. Uh... And there's Doubting Luke. What does Doubting Luke's thought bubble say? That's still a long way from 5,000. Worried face. Mrs. Watson looks pretty pleased, though. As does Ryan, who is reclining on his, well, it's not a beanbag chair. Aluminum can chair? Ryan, Carly, and Luke kept on working. Because that's what you do when you have a big goal. Luke put up signs all over the school. On Saturday, the members of the Save the Planet Club knocked on every door in their neighborhood. Hello, 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 hello. They handed out Ryan's flyer and they carried big bags for people's empty cans. So they're just walking around collecting. They're there. And yeah, there's Rufus there with a neighbor who's waving. He got his thing. Let's see over here what's happening. Oh, see, this neighbor's handing over some cans. And this lady walking her baby is also looking at the flyer. So is the man who's driving. At, well, I'm going to assume he's parked because you really shouldn't read and drive at the same time. And what does this flyer of knowledge say? Recycling one aluminum can saves enough energy to keep a 100-watt light bulb burning for about three and a half hours. That's amazing. So in a way, recycling is lighting up the world. Look at, oh my goodness. Did you see that? Look at all those cans. It's a beautiful thing. It almost looks like a sculpture, like a beautiful aluminum pot plant in a giant green planter. Okay, I'm gonna move on. On Monday morning, Ryan, Carly, and Luke couldn't dump their cans in the collection barrels because they were already full, more than full. At recess, they counted cans. Oh, it's fun to practice your math this way, isn't it? By the time recess was over, they still weren't done. Mrs. Watson said they could skip spelling to finish counting. Okay, that's a fair trade-off because it's all learning anyway. Ha, huh, and you didn't think this was a good idea, Carly teased Luke. <laughs> Great, no spelling today. Oh, look at that, Luke. Doubtful Luke cracks a smile. I think he's finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Finally, they finished. They had two huge bags of 1,000. That's 2,000. Eight bags of 100. That's 2,800. And two single cans. So 2,800 and two single cans. That's almost 3,000. It's 2,852 to be exact. It's important to be exact. Luke wrote down the numbers. We did it. And with the 2,174 we had before, it is now 5,026.
legs. Oh! Confetti, confetti, falling down, falling down from the ground. Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. Marching band. Big, big goal. Oh, yeah. That park is looking pretty, pretty now. Mrs. Watson took the cans to the recycling center right after school. And Saturday morning, she drove Carly, Luke, and Ryan to the plant nursery. Isn't it funny? Plants are for kids. And also, nurseries are for plants and for kids. They each picked out flowers in their favorite color. Earth Day, hooray! That afternoon, the whole class came to Gilroy Park for the Earth Day celebration. The first thing they did was plant the flowers at the entrance. Ah, yes. The first impression is always the most important of all. Oh, and they looked so beautiful. The park looked beautiful. There wasn't a single piece of trash anywhere. Behold, there's a water ecosystem. This kid is dressed as a tree. Uh, let's see, the squirrel is partying with the kids. They're taking photos over here. This one's doing like a lantern thingamabob. She bought a plant. Maybe she's going to plant one at home or brought it to plant at the park. They're playing with this giant earth ball. Another kid dresses a tree. This one's a fish. This one's a cloud. And then petitions to care for the air and to come and plant a tree yourself so everybody can participate. What? an improvement this is over the way the park used to be. I mean, it was trashy, it was bare. Now it's clean and colorful and floral. And it makes you want to go there, doesn't it? And that was Earth Day, hooray! And are you inspired? Hey, Stuart, that's the author right there. Oh, 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 is that the author? Yeah, 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 Stuart J. Murphy. What's it J stand for? Uh, no junk. Yeah, that, wait, that doesn't sound right. Uh, it stands for j j j Jewels. That's not a real bell name. It stands for Joy. Okay, hey, Stuart Joy Murphy. Hi, I really like the bags, and I like the, 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 the colors, and how the park is now beautiful, and, and hooray! Hooray! And also, the counting. That was actually a fun way to count. It is a fun way to count and multiply. And that's a good way to make your mad skills, you know, in math go to good use and help the earth. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go do some recycling and count my cans. And then can I go to that corner place so I can make, maybe get some change. And then I can maybe plant some flowers too. Absolutely. Maybe you should get your friends together and, you know, we can do a whole thing. Oh! Absolutely. Happy Earth Day, kid. I hope this inspires you to, you know, count high and aim high with your big plants and, you know, help the Earth in the process. Yeah, yeah, because all those are, are good things, right? Oh, absolutely. Very good things. Okay, kid. Well, uh, see you next time uh, and subscribe so that you, you know, will come back because, you know, we like you here. Okay.